Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Francis Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. So today is another lesson vlog. So I have a lesson on George again today. So I thought I would do another one of these because it was pretty easy to make last week. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to the barn. Okay guys, so we are now at the barn. I'm running a little bit late. I have like 10 minutes to tack up. So my filming is probably gonna be horrible because I have to rush, but yeah. But here is George. Yeah, we're just gonna brush and tack up now. Okay, moving straight into the jumping, I didn't get any videos of my walk truck canter warm up, but we started just trotting over some baby cross rails. So I trotted into this one and cantered out and then cantered to the next one. Good, that's fine. Good job, very nice. Good so then we popped some of the fences up and trotted over a bigger cross rail. Good, easy. Good, try not to hold. Think soft elbows. A little bit of left hand. Good, take your time. So after that one, we trotted into the purple cross rail. We cantered away, but he got the wrong lead. So we trotted and fixed it and cantered into the pink one. Good job, very good. So then we began cantering into some more fences. So we cantered around to this purple jump and then cantered away and cantered to the pink one as well. Good boy, take your time. So after that pink jump, we decided to um, incorporate another jump. So we trotted into this orange jump right here. Good boy, nice job. Then we decided to canter the whole thing. So canter over purple, pink, and then orange. So I'll just let you watch that. Try to keep your elbow soft. So it's kind of a, you're following his pressure rein. Very good. Not a, I'm holding you really, really tightly and you're gonna wag your head rein. Good, easy. Look up, look at orange. So for this next jump, he got kind of a weird spot, but as long as he's still confidently going over it, then it's fine. Then we decided to do again. This next course was kind of messy. So we go into purple and he knocks one of the rails down, but I mean, he didn't care about knocking it at all. So that was really a good thing for him. And then he took a long spot to pink and I got absolutely launched. Then he got the wrong lead after. So I trotted and fixed it and we cantered in to the orange jump. And so he got a little pulley, but then he cantered over orange nicely. Then we did the course again. He chipped purple, but I'm okay with that. Your jump. Don't lock out your elbow. Don't do it. Good. Going into the pink jump, he took a long spot and I got launched again, but oh well. We wanted to end on a good note, so we just um, cantered into purple. Then I finished up my ride and hosed him off. Okay guys, so we just finished up our ride and we're back um, at my little barn. I'm just gonna put their fly masks on, but basically I'm gonna tell you how my lesson went. So basically, I don't know if you've seen this before, but previous in videos, like when he gets too fast, I pull back on the reins and he doesn't like an even pressure on his face. So he wags his head like that. But today we kind of learned instead of like when he gets too fast, instead of pulling on him with even pressure, I just pull one rein. So he can kind of tilt his head to the side and turn a little bit, but he has to slow down and he can't wag his head. So once I kind of learned how to do that, the ride went a lot better. But he was a super good boy. I didn't get like a ton of videos during a ride, but I got some of the jumping. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to Francis Questrian, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.